Well, there, YouTube, I'm back. It's, uh, it's been a while since I did a video on the weather station or the wind turbine, so I figured I'd do a quick one here. Um, there's the Davis Vantage View. I think I've mentioned it in other videos, I don't remember. But we're up on the roof today. And there's a CCTV camera. So I can watch the wind turbine from inside. There's the mount for the weather, sta weather station. And... Let's see if I can do this without falling off the roof. There it is. I can't reach the wind turbine because it is up higher than where I'm standing. I'm on the peak of the roof. Right here. I'm on the peak. There it is. Let's see, I don't, I don't really want to try to stop this because I'm going to get hurt. There we go. Turn it out of the wind real quick here so we can... Wow, that's still gliding nice and smooth. See, there's no slip ring on this. This is a homemade mount. But that is that glides so smooth up there. Because I made my own bearing. I can't show it to you because the way this mount works is here. Let me back up a little. I'll do a little in, informational video on this. Oops. Okay. Here's the mount. It's basically a two inch pipe mounted over an inch and a half pipe. Okay. As you can see, there's now anybody that has a Windy Nation PMA, you know that there's three mounting bolts. Okay, let me get on this side here. Don't fall off of that roof. There's another roof. See, another roof. This is the easterly roof. This is the southerly roof, southerly roof. There's more roof there, lots of roof. Lots of roof space here. Lots of roof space. You know what roof space would translate into? Solar panel real estate. Anyway, back to the setup here. Okay, what I used on most of the design was I used that two inch pipe. Okay, I cut it, I believe it's eight inches long. Okay, I hope you're not getting any wind noise here. Eight inches long, and then I took one inch by one inch by three sixteenths inch angle iron. As you can see, you see that's a light breeze. Yeah, that weather station. There, look at it. That's a light breeze. Look at this. Look at this thing. This thing is turning and it is whisper quiet. Here, let's get right up on top of the pole. Okay, I'm going to touch the camera to the pole. Okay, so no vibrations. No cogging. Silent. Anyway. So what else we got here is the 1 inch by 1 inch by 3 16 inch thick angle iron. And I welded it to... I'm not grabbing it to stop it. Son of a bitch, I should have turned the brake on. Uh, it's welded to the pipe in several different spots. It's actually starting to rust on me, so I'm going to be taking this down and doing a doing some maintenance on it. This is my homemade tail fin from the last turbine I made, or had up here. Same tail fin. Same... Uh, pole, same height, same wire. The only difference is this mount. It's the only difference between this one and the last one that was here. Oh, and the big tree in the center of the yard is gone. The one that was right there. That tree is gone. And this tree has lost all of its leaves. I believe this is an oak. Oh, broken branch. I'm going to have to do some pruning on this bad boy here but almost all the trees around here they're they're all losing their leaves now 
but uh, back to the wind turbine again. Um, when I get the ladder out here to do some maintenance on it, I'll get up closer and I'll take some photos of it. I think I have a couple of photos somewhere I'll throw in the video. Uh, but the tail fin is mounted to those two wings that stick out. Like just some uh, couple of bolts each. And the way I engineered this was when I take out the most right bolt on this one here. I take the right bolt out, it'll swing on the left bolt, swing down. So it makes it so much easier to do this one person. I have that, that's one inch by a quarter inch strap, flat stock, or strap stock, whatever you want to call it. And it's mounted to, uh, this is 16 gauge, plain steel, the, uh, what you want to call it here, what am I trying to say? God damn it, why can't I talk to it? The material is 16 gauge, and it's 24 inches tall by 10 inches deep from here to here, it's 10 inches. And then I just cut that angle down to seven or eight inches. And then I just rounded it off with the grinder. I didn't use a laser cutter, I didn't use a plasma cutter, I didn't use a fancy cutter, or this cutter, or that, or anything. I just used a good old fashioned grinder and flap disc sanders. But it is three phase. There's a 12 gauge extension cord that runs in there. And it does go down the center of the pole. But up at the top here, what it does is it goes through a hole that's just large enough to accept the wire. So there's no chance of water seeping in. And the hole, there's a, there's a, see, I can't show you the top of the, there's a top plate on it that just rests on top of the pipe. And it's all smooth and uh, a homemade bearing in there. Basically just red grease. But it works. And it works really, really well. Um, the, only, the only thing with this setup is it does wobble a little bit on that. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there. Let's see if I can get in on that a little better. Yeah, you can see the gap there. Ugh, I can't hold this still. I need a tripod. Um, so when it's rotating, like if we get a really, really strong gust and it's got to whip around into, into the wind, it'll, it'll make a little bit of a racket. And you can hear it inside, but it's not anything like what the other one was. Inside, you can't hear it in the other video that I have of it, but when you're in the garage and you're doing something that requires silence, like we used to record music in the garage, and when the winter time and the wind would pick up big time, all you hear was it's like, oh. then we'd have to stop recording. We couldn't do anything because that freaking thing was so loud. Yeah, see, look at that. This is a nice soft breeze. You can see how little the trees are moving. Every time I walk around this thing, I feel like I'm gonna get my head cut open, but it, it's up there. And you can't even hear this thing going here. I'll go right on the pole. You can see it's spinning. I'm not lying. I'm going to put the camera right against the pole. I could feel I could feel a slight vibration, but it's nothing compared to the other one, really. The other one, was, oh man. I would be up here and all you hear is okay, nice and Nice and straight. Everything's perfect. See, it's moving on me. There we go. Let me get directly under it. I'm not directly under it. I can't stay directly under it. It's wobbling. I don't have any guy wires on a pole yet. I will. Because I do lose some from when it starts doing this. There you go. You hear that? That wobbling. That's just the thing at the top there. You can see it. It wobbles up there. But I don't care about that. It's so heavy it does it, it can't fall. I do have this thing. Here I gotta get up. I think it's stuck. Yeah, I got it tightened right there, I think. Or whatever the situation is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 
this thing here. I gotta get this up there. This is a locking collar. I don't remember where I got this from. Um, got it from somewhere. I think I remember, but I don't want to mention where I got it from. Oh, here we go. See, let's grab a blade here and spin it out of the wind a little. Hey, you can see there's no corrosion on that yet. It's been out here since... Probably been up a good... Four months. No rust on the shaft. Stop. No rust on the... Ah, I see. No rust on the shaft. There's no rust on the casing. A little dirty. It's not rusty. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, stainless steel and aluminum. Works great. There's a little better view of the... Uh, I'm having a hard time doing this from the roof. I'm going to have to wait till I can get on a ladder and do it. But, uh... Let's see if we can spin it a little bit. Nope, it won't let me. It's catching the wind too well. Okay. Oh, I also have a new update for you. I have just ordered one 100 watt solar panel from Windy Nation. Uh, so once that comes in, I'll get that hooked up and check that out. I'm only doing one at a time because I don't know. I want to see the size of it, see how it looks, see how what it does, and all that. I guess. But uh, for now, I just have these little guys here. And that's it. Okie dokie. Let's see if I can get a new one. Yeah, I know. I didn't. <gasps> see, I wanted to try to get a photo of it with the weather station, too. But I want it to face me. And it's not. So, okay.